flooded lead-acid batteries work by converting stored chemical energy into electrical energy. Electrical energy is created from a chemical reaction that occurs between lead dioxide and sulfuric acid. This reaction generates an excess of electrons that rearrange themselves resulting in the flow of electrical current. As electrical current is demanded, sulfuric acid is absorbed layer by layer into the active material plates, producing the chemical reaction that changes the chemical composition of the active material and delivers electrons. This reaction continues until the plates are saturated and the chemical composition of the active material changes. No more electrolyte can be absorbed. At this stage, the battery is considered to be fully discharged and will need to be recharged. During the charging process, two things must occur. First, the plates must release all acid. Then, any acid not absorbed must be mixed from where it settled on the bottom. As charge current is applied, the plates receiving it begin charging but accept charge unevenly. This continues until reaching a voltage of 2.37 volts per cell. At this point, gassing occurs and begins mixing the acid. At gassing voltage, charge current breaks down water and releases hydrogen and oxygen into the electrolyte. Oxygen bubbles form on positive plates and hydrogen bubbles form on negative plates. As the bubbles rise to the surface, the electrolyte solution mixes within the cell. As the voltage increases, the charge current tapers down and eventually reaches the finish rate. Charge current will continue to push all the remaining acid out of the plates and mix the electrolyte solution. Standard batteries will require an overcharge of 115% to 125% to ensure the battery is fully charged. For more information, please contact a Hawker representative in your area or visit our website at www.hawkerpowersource.com.